this is the video game votary show your support and hit subscribe right now what's going on video game votary vanguard it's your boy the video game votary here so something big just transpired with involving gamestop the xbox series x and i'm here to tell y'all gamestop has officially made me a fan for life i will no longer tolerate any sort of slander of gamestop on this channel or on my social media so to find out why Sit back, subscribe, cast a vibe, and let me tell you next. Alright guys, welcome back. And before we get started with today's episode, if you're a fan of video games, video game collecting, video game hunting, live streams, and many more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. To hit the bell, turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode. We got new episodes every Tuesday and Thursdays at 4 p.m. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So as I said in the intro, something big happened. It was major. Um, definitely came out of left field. So let me just kind of start from the beginning and give you all some background behind it, which you probably already know if you follow my social media. And if you've seen the last episode, I'll put it in the card above and you'll be able to watch it. But um, on pre-order day for the Xbox Series X, um, a few like probably a couple months ago i decided that i was going to do the ultimate game pass and make the monthly payments to get my xbox series x so pre-order day came it failed multiple times on me multiple different sites didn't get it then on release day same thing had in the cart and even as recent as last wednesday walmart had them at a certain time and i was unsuccessful with that as well but then yesterday well, not yesterday, but Sunday, I received an email. And it's an email account that I barely checked. And I thought I changed my email address for GameStop. So I'm going to read you this email. And then I'm going to go into what happened. Show sure once you read the email, you're going to find out what happened next. Okay, guys. So here's the email that I received Sunday from GameStop. Like I said, I don't check this email. I thought I changed it to one that I use more frequently. But here it is. Um, what caught my attention says your GameStop.com Xbox all access order has an order number there So that made me open it up because I knew that it failed. So let me read it, it Says dear Marcus. Thank you for coming to GameStop.com to purchase the, next, the new generation of Xbox Our records indicate that you applied and were approved for a line of credit with citizens one But were unable to complete your order We are sincerely sorry for the disappointment and inconvenience we may have created and want to take the opportunity to address it as quickly as possible unfortunately we are sold out at xbox series x s which may have been what you originally wished to purchase if you wish to purchase the xbox series s please keep an eye out on gamestop.com for future availability as we will have more inventory in future however if you are interested in purchasing the xbox series x which is what i wanted please click here please note that the inventory is highly limited and this is special Limited time option can only be guaranteed until 10 p.m. Central Time on November 24th. All purchases are limited to one unit. Once you click the link above, you'll be taken to a page to sign in and re-enter the personal information pertaining to your line of credit. Please note that this is not a new or separate credit check. Since you were already approved for a line of credit, you must enter your personal information on this order exactly as it appears on your line of credit account. Please note, if at any time you are asked to enter your full social security number, please click the link again and begin the process again. This means you did not log in the same GameStop account using the initial purchase attempt. You must use the same email address that you used when originally attempted to complete your purchase. If you are unable to complete your order, please validate whether you used another email address. If you already made a purchase, then please disregard this email. If you have further questions about your line of credit, please contact Citizens One, phone number, link to the website. Once again, we appreciate your business and patience. Please continue to provide us feedback so that we can address your concerns and live up to your expectations. If you require any additional assistance, please feel free to apply to this email. Have a great day, your friends at GameStop. So I obviously was able to pick up the Xbox Series X and I was very excited about it. And I want to show you what I how I responded to the email. I said, Dear GameStop, I was so delighted to open and read this email. I think that was so thoughtful of you guys to recognize an error or shortcoming of your customers and offer to make up for it. This really brought me genuine joy. I'm a content creator on YouTube. My name is Video Game Voter. I promise to only speak good of GameStop. Unfortunately, to some in the gaming community, you guys have a bad rep. I hope that through my content and sharing my experience with the world on my platform, I believe I could change the narrative. 
The attention to detail on this matter is truly incredible. And if I wasn't a GameStop fan before, I'm most certainly your biggest. Thank you so much for allowing me to purchase the Xbox Series X. Be on the lookout for my episode discussing this on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Link to my channels below. Hopefully we can work together in the future. Thanks again. Link to the channel. And I got a response from someone at customer service. Here it is. Hi, Marcus. I'm very glad we could help you with this issue. I really wish you the best on YouTube and want to give you thanks for trusting in us. Have a wonderful day and stay safe. Kind regards. GameStop customer service. David M. Now, how insane was that? The attention to detail of GameStop customer service. I'm not talking about in the store. I don't know what your experiences is. I know they get a bad rep sometimes for the in-store associates and stuff like that. Nine times out of ten, those people don't want to be there. They don't have a passion for game. If you do have a passion for gaming, that job should be relatively easy, and you probably should be generally happy working in there. You would assume anyway. But if you have issues. You definitely need to contact GameStop Customer Care. For the fact that the thousands, if not millions of people that tried to get a Series X on pre-order day as well as release day and were unsuccessful and for them to reach out to me through that email shows the attention to detail that they put towards their customers. I had the same process with Microsoft out of all people, uh, Best Buy, Walmart and Target, none of these people reached out to me. But the fact that they seen that I was approved for that credit and reached out to me with a specific link just for me because they knew that something happened and transpired where I was unable to get the Series X on the day that I wanted. And for them to reach out and give me that opportunity, I really appreciate that. That's something that people appreciate is customer service. And I think some of us kind of take that for granted. Um, I'm a person, if I don't get great customer service, I'll take my money elsewhere. I could spend my money anywhere, so I'm not going to be forced to spend money in a certain place. But for the most part, I've had great experiences with GameStop, and this, to me, took it over the top. Now, as you can see, I was very excited to see that email. I, I was almost in shock. I was still, still trying to wrap my head around that email and how that took place. So I'm super excited. I'm expecting it this weekend. I wish I had a little earlier, spend a little more time with it before I head back to work. But... I'm super excited, and you guys can see for yourself. So, with that being said, if you guys didn't pick up on what I was getting at, a big tip for video game collectors. Now, we know it's a lot of games and consoles out there that's very, very expensive. And, um, you know, if you don't have the funds or the means to pick up this thing or this game or this console you may want, and there's other options available. One important option that I realize is credit you want to make sure your credit's good because you got good credit you can go in that store and you can get that 900 dollars sealed earthbound game for the snes not saying i'll do that but it's just the principle you'll be able to put it on the credit card make payments and pay it off so you know being that my credit is relatively decent i was able to get the ultimate game pass which from what i'm reading is fantastic it's going to be good for 24 months that includes xbox live gold a slew of games right away and not to mention, I believe um, Halo Infinite is going to be a part of that. And right now, there's not really, really too many games right now I'm looking for on the Series X, to be honest with you. I'm really waiting on uh, Halo Infinite. So that's going to be there. And it's a good chance I may not get any games for a good minute for this Xbox Series X because I kind of don't need to with these Ultimate Game Pass. I'll just utilize that. Um, I may get Call of Duty for it. I'm trying to figure out which way I'm going to do it, but I may go that route as far as Call of Duty is concerned. But I really don't see me purchasing it. And you guys know from watching the channel, I'm not a fan of buying games right away because they always go on sale. There's some games about to go on sale for Black Friday here in a couple of days if they aren't already. Not to mention accessories for the next-gen consoles are already on sale. Uh, I know for a fact at Best Buy, I believe GameStop's having to sell as well. So always wait for a sale especially with games there's no rush to get it except for a launch of course and we'll get into what i picked up for launch i know i said i was going to do it this week we're going to do it next week and then we're going to follow up with an xbox uh series x video and then i'll give you you know some further detailed uh thoughts about how i feel about having the ps5 for a certain amount of time as well as the xbox and then i'll do a comparison of the two and which i feel is better so stay tuned for those episodes so let me know down in the comment section below 
is credit something that you utilize to add to your collection, especially some of these larger, more expensive games, consoles, collectibles, and things of that nature. And if not, I think that you should strongly consider. Also, with you reading this email and seeing um, the type of attention to detail that GameStop put into their customers from their customer service department, reach out with that email and offer me exclusive offer to pick up a Series X. Does that change your mind about GameStop? Um, again, I know you guys all got your stories and your opinions about GameStop, but to me, that showed that they're going the extra step, number one, to try to stick around. Number two, to also build up um, their customer base because I think for a while they kind of been in a bad spot, and I think that that's a good start. And again, to for as many people who tried to get that, for them to send that email to me, that, that was just crazy i'm still in shock so i got a series x coming i'm excited i can't wait can't wait to show you guys show it off i'm not gonna do an unboxing on either because there's a million unboxings and obviously i was late to party got my ps5 on launch day but there was thousands of unboxings already we don't need to go through that i'll go through what i picked up if you follow me on social media you saw it already but we'll go through it anyway i'll tell you what i feel about the controller the hardware accessories things in that nature in more detail on those episodes but i had to share my joy of gamestop i had to i had expressed my love for them and i just appreciate it uh so also just want to let you guys know don't forget to check out my ebay store it's going to be linked in the description below also get your merch that's also linked in the in the description below we're going to be going back to twitch soon um i haven't locked in the date yet but it's going to be soon and i want to lock in the day and lock in the time also the video game voting podcast is coming back as well so, and also, I'm thinking I want to do some kind of exclusive where before I put my, whatever I'm selling on my eBay store, I'm thinking about going to the Video Game Votary Vanguard Facebook page. It's linked in the description as well. You can check it out there. I believe I'm going to start listing items there first for at least a week before I put it on eBay. So, be on the lookout there. Also, comment below if it's something you're looking for that maybe I can pick up for you. We can work out something and I get it shipped out to you and, you know, everybody's satisfied. So, support the channel, support your boy, I appreciate y'all, have a good day, have a great holiday, everybody be safe, it's your boy Video Game Voting, we out. Thank you for watching, follow me on all social media platforms, at Video Game Voting.